Uh, okay, so the last set of how these MLB teams got their name. We are doing the National League Central? Question mark? Yes. Exclamation point. Yes. yes. Okay, so how these baseball teams got their name, National League Central. Chicago Cubs. Uh, I don't know. Eric's a bitch. Yeah, fuck you, Eric. <laughs> So Chicago Cubs, the media can take credit for a lot of things, including but not limited to the nicknames of players and what the general population thinks of a player team decision, etc. But the Chicago media can also take credit for the naming of its National League team, the Cubs. A local newspaper was responsible for the change of name, which was previously the Orphans, after a managerial change in 1902. (laughs) The Chicago Orphans. Tell you what, they were orphaned out of a World Series for 100 plus years. Yeah. Jesus. Orphans. Huh. That's a rough one. Okay. Um, Cincinnati Reds. Rest in peace, Pete. I'm going to say, I'm going to say the founder really liked those red hot candies. Oh, he's a red hot fan. Yeah. Oh, dude, my mouth is like, can you see my blue tongue? I can say it that time. Fuck. I can like <laughs> see it. Like my teeth have a tint of blue tongue. Oh, God. <laughs> um, so the Cincinnati Reds, um, so how Cincinnati eventually went with Reds as its nickname is actually one of the more interesting stories you'll read about in this piece. Cincinnati changed its nickname from the Red Stockings to the Red Legs and then to the Reds. But in 1953, they went back to Red Legs. Why? During that time, the word Reds was associated with communism, but less than 10 years later, it was Reds again. So... Th- they started as the Red Stockings. Was that the same Red Stockings Correct. the Red Sox started as? I don't know. Hold on. I'm on the page. Let me go to, back up to the Red Sox here because they wore Red Sox. No, nothing about Red Stockings. Huh. Okay. Interesting. All right. Next one I got for you is the Milwaukee Brewers. That's a tough one. Tuffy. They brew beer in Milwaukee <laughs> yeah. and it's gross. Yeah. Yeah, so Milwaukee is commonly known as one of the brewing capitals of the country, so it makes plenty of sense that its baseball team is called the Brewers. What you probably didn't know is that before the team was called the Brewers, it was actually called the Cream Cities. (laughs) The what? (laughs) The Cream Cities. (laughs) Considering how big the cream brick industry was in the area. I don't know what cream brick is. Yeah, what the fuck is that? But it sounds like a porno. Cream Um, brick. I can't imagine a team in this day and age being called the Cream Cities, especially if it meant giving up a great name in the Brewers. Milwaukee Cream Cities. <laughs> <laughs> Next one I got for you is the Pittsburgh Pirates. I haven't the slightest clue. Nothing. I'm going to say they pirate movies. Oh, okay. I like it. Um,. So the Pittsburgh Pirates, you'll never guess why Pittsburgh's nickname is the Pirates. I literally didn't guess. (laughs) (laughs) When the business of baseball used to be in shambles compared to what it is today, players didn't care for the way they were paid. So they created their own league. Their old teams still had their rights in case something happened and they wanted to return. Two Two Philadelphia Athletics players ended up signing with the Pittsburgh team, despite it being against the rules. Fans then started calling Pittsburgh the Pirates since they stole players. So I was right-ish. They, yeah. Instead of burning DVDs, they were burning the other teams from yeah. athletes. And as long and as they weren't witches or black or he, anything, we're allowed to say he. that. <laughs> <laughs> um, and last but not least, I got the St. Louis Cardinals. They got birds there. Cardinals. They got, they got bird. birds. They got birds. I was going to say State Bird. Yeah, I'll go State Bird. State Bird. Well, (laughs) we're back to the stockings. So Jesus Christ. The Brown Stockings was never going to be a good name, as we've seen. Stockings never really catches on anywhere. St. Louis was also known as the Browns for a while, but eventually made the switch to the Perfectos. Also changing the uniforms from brown to red. Remember, the press said that the New Jersey's had a lovely shade of Cardinal. And from there on out, St. Louis has been known as the Cardinals. That's kind of how the football team got their name, right? The Browns? No, no, no. The Cardinals. I remember reading something about like the jersey was Cardinal Red. 
Like they got a box of jerseys and it was like Cardinal. I don't know. We'll have to go back. Did, didn't we? I was gonna say, didn't we do all the teams? We did. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I remember like reading that to you. Oh, I got you. Like I they got opened you. a box and it was Cardinal Red or something like that. I'm gonna know. say I remember, but I definitely don't. I vaguely do. Yeah. 